This is the new to me CNC lathe I bought for the workshop. After a lot of work, it's now in usable condition. The electronics to run the X and Y stepper motors were very outdated and needed software I didn't have. I wrote some Arduino code and used a joystick to input directions, but the results were pretty rough. With some help from a machinist friend of mine, I made a backplate for a new chuck, since the chuck that came with the lathe was missing some pieces. You can see the new chuck here. I bought it from Shars, and it works great, but the backplate I made earlier was not very well centered. As a safety note, I shouldn't be wearing a watch while wood turning, and you should always have a handle for turning tools in case the tool catches. Here you can see me making a pawn for a chess set. Eventually I made a new backplate which is much better centered. I also got some new tools from Shars. I really recommend this company for beginners. The tools are plenty good for anything I've ever needed to do, and they're really not that much more expensive than high speed steel. Finally I upgraded to some proper code to run the steppers. The lathe is controlled by an Arduino running a software called Gerbil. The software isn't really made for turning, but I'll show you how to change some settings in Fusion 360 to allow the software to control the lathe. So for this part, I just want to show you guys how I configured Gerbil, uh, which is the software I use to run the Arduino. So uh, here we're looking at Fusion 360. This is the model you saw earlier, uh, which is the coffee tamper. Uh, so in Fusion 360, you'd usually start off here in the model screen, but we can go over here to CAM, uh, which is where you define the tool paths and all the work that the CNC machine actually has to do. Uh, once you've done all that, you would go to post process. Uh, yeah. Um, in my case, I'm using Gerbil, but Gerbil is not made to run something like a lathe. It's usually for mills and 3D printers, but it's actually really easy to change that. Uh, you just go into the configuration and search capabilities. So here you can see I've already changed this. Uh, originally, I think it would have said milling, but you just delete that and replace it with uh, turning. And that's really all you have to do. It works directly like that. Some functions uh, won't work because Gerbil was never made to do uh, turning, but most of them work just fine. The footage in the background is just something from a friend's shop. I wanted to take some time to explain why I haven't posted a video in a while and what my future plans for the channel are. Since June, I have been working for the ETER project in southern France. If you're not familiar, this is a worldwide project to build a huge fusion reactor. It's been a really cool experience, but it hasn't left me with a lot of time for videos, and all of my equipment is back in America. I plan to start making new videos when I return in a couple of months. I have a lot of new vacuum chamber and electron gun projects, and I want to start making shorter, more frequent videos. Let me know if that video format interests you, and if there's anything else you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching.